nutrition, uh, your, your sleep, your mental health, uh, your coping skills, all of those things all come together to create your current health. And that's why I always say it's your habits that create your health because it's in all areas. All autoimmune diseases are because of inflammation. So autoimmune diseases, there's going, well, with really most diseases, there is a genetic predisposition, right? Which kind of decides what diseases you could get if the right conditions are present. So the most genetic ones are things like type two diabetes, right? Uh, so there's the things that are, that you have a predisposition to. And so with autoimmune diseases, the predisposition to autoimmune in general seems to be something that's passed down. And families, you won't necessarily see it all the same, although I have treated twins with lupus, um, who both recovered in my rapid recovery group, actually. They, they made a fun video for me. Um, but oftentimes it'll be like, like my mom had RA uh, and hypothyroid. I don't have either of those things, but I had lupus. So, so there's this genetic predisposition that under the right circumstance, or I guess under the wrong circumstances, that you can develop autoimmune. Now something has to trigger those genes and those genes are triggered by lifestyle aspects. So it can be triggered by severe enough trauma, poor lifestyle, like bad sleep and nutrition because nutrition, what you eat can cause damage, but also is necessary for repairing damage. And for most people I see it's a combination of those things, but the inflammatory process is out of control in autoimmune diseases. So there is an inflammatory immune system and the inflammatory immune system is important. So it's not like all inflammation is bad. The inflammatory immune system has a job that's extremely important. It's what responds to infections, right? That's a response to injuries. But if it's overactive because we are eating in such a way that is stimulating excess inflammation, or if it's overactive because we don't have an anti-inflammatory immune system to return us to baseline because we're not hypernourishing, or if it's overactive because we have high levels of stress, depression, anxiety, or trauma that's generating more inflammation, or it's overactive because we don't get enough sleep so that our body can repair damage from inflammation. Any of those things can happen, and those will then trigger that autoimmune process or cause it to continue. And that's why everything that I teach and everything I do with my clients, I take all of that into account. Nutrition, uh, your, your sleep, your mental health, uh, your coping skills, all of those things all come together to create your current health. And that's why I always say it's your habits that create your health because it's in all areas.